Can you guys see the screen? It's coming up. Yep, I got it. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is text nine of verse of uh, chapter 16. The divine and demonic natures. I'm just going to read the first purport just to get us started first of uh, everything. And then we can take turns reading uh, paragraphs after that. Okay. Oops. Hold on a second. All right. So, um, text nine. Etam dristim of ab stabia nastat bano lepambulia prabhavanti ugra karmana kshayaya jagatohita synonyms etam this dristim vision avastabia accepting nasta having lost atmana themselves alpabudea the less intelligent prabhavati vanti flourish ugra karmana engaged in painful activities Kshayaya for destruction, Jagata of the world, Ahita, unbeneficial, translation. Following such conclusions, the demoniac who are lost to themselves and have no intelligence engage in unbeneficial, horrible works meant to destroy the world. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I may be getting a bit of a cold here. Hope not. All right. The demoniac are engaged in activities that will lead the world to destruction. The Lord here states that they are less intelligent. The materialists who have no concept of God think that they are advancing, but according to Bhagavad Gita, they are unintelligent and devoid of all sense. They try to enjoy this material world to the utmost limit, and therefore they always engage in inventing something for sense gratification. These materialistic inventions are considered to be advancement in human civilization, but the result is that people grow more and more violent and more and more cruel, cruel to animals and cruel to other human beings. They have no idea of how to be behave toward one another. Animal killing is very prominent among demonic people. Such people are considered the enemies of the world because ultimately they will invent or create something which will bring destruction to all. Indeed, or indirectly, this verse anticipates the invention of nuclear weapons, of which the whole world is today very proud. At any moment, war may take place, and these atomic weapons may create havoc. Such things are created solely for the destruction of the world, and, and this is indicated here. Due to godlessness, such weapons are invented in human society. They're not meant for the peace and prosperity of the world. So I'm going to read the first uh, Sanskrit verse, and then, uh, Mike, since you were first on here, you can read the uh, purport. Kamam asritya durs param damba mana mananvita mohad grihitva sad grahan pravartante suchivrata. Translation, Kamam, lust, asritya, taking shelter of dusparam, insatiable, dumba of pride, mana of, and false prestige, mana anvita, absorbed in the conceit. Okay, Melissa's here now. Hey, Melissa. Hello. Hey, Melissa. Sorry. Yeah, hey. we already got started a little bit here. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, no problem. Hey, Alan. Glad you're here. Better late than never. Are you going to the Kirtan tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, Dave and will be there. He's back from Canada. Okay. He was attending his father's funeral. Oh. oh. His father was just about as old as my old man. Uh, he wow. was 94, I think. 90, no, wait. Oh, 92. Oh. Big Montreal oh. Canadiens fan. <laughs> he was hoping that they would win before he died, but uh, uh -huh. that's not gonna happen uh anyway um yeah he'll be there tomorrow so i'm not gonna be there i'm gonna be in new york city but uh uh it's good that you'll be there melissa we're right in the middle of we read one verse already we're in the middle of text 10 here i'm gonna just read the rest of this sanskrit and then mike's gonna read or alan's gonna read the uh the 
purport. Um, Mohat, by illusion, grihitva, taking, asat, non-permanent, grahan, things, pravartate, they flourish, asuchi, to the unclean, vrata, avowed. Translation, taking shelter of insatiable lust and absorbed in the conceit of pride and false prestige, the demoniac, thus illusioned, are always sworn to unclean work, attracted by the impermanent. Go ahead, Al. The demoniac mentality is described here. The demons have no satiation for their lust. They will go on increasing and increasing their insatiable desires for material enjoyment, although they are always full of anxieties on account of accepting non-permanent things. They still continue to engage in such activities out of illusion. They have no knowledge and cannot tell that they are heading the wrong way Accepting non-permanent things, such demoniac people create their own god, create their own hymns and chants accordingly. The result is that they become more and more attracted to two things, sex enjoyment and accumulation of material wealth. The word... Asuchi Vrata. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, and clean vows is very significant in this connection. Such demonic demoniac people are only attracted by wine women gambling and meat eating they are their uh sushi a sushi correct how you say oh okay unclean habits induced by pride and false prestige they cannot they create some principles of religion which are not approved by the vedic injunctions although some demoniac people are almost abdominable in the world but artificial means the world creates a false honor for them although they are gliding towards hell they consider themselves very much advanced yeah wow a lot of people <laughs> What's that's that? deep that's very deep yeah yeah <clears throat> anybody have any questions about that i think it's a reflection of what you know we see right now it's just we're there's no spirituality there's no sense of god there's no there's no spiritual health it's just all about things stuff and and satiation insatiate insatiable yeah they have lust, lust and lust is like they're pouring water gasoline on the fire of their own lust that's right right and, um they are creating the the previous verse melissa you missed it but this the previous verse was this one the demoniac lost themselves and have no intelligent engage in unbeneficial, horrible works meant to destroy the world. And it said indirectly, this verse anticipates the invention of a nuclear weapons of which the whole world is very much proud. So, you know, this is like what's going on right now. This, they yeah. say this, this period right now is this is uh, just as dangerous as the Bay of Pigs uh, in 1963. I was, uh, only six years old at that time, but uh, you know, so I don't remember it that much, but um, that was uh, like, we had some level heads in the government, but you know, sometimes the, the, these things are, are um, you know, Prabhupada said, you know, that I remember there was a, there was a, uh, a documentary in the mid eighties, I think it was like early eighties, still during the, uh, the cold war, 1982 it was on tv it was a made for tv movie called the day after it was called yes i remember it you remember that so yeah also sick a real quick thing about the bay of pigs the only reason we didn't have a nuclear explosion was there was actually missed signal it's a true historic fact look it up they had lost communication the um, the um russian submarines that were there and the american the signal went out and the Russians hadn't heard anything back and they were about to, the Russians were actually about to send a nuclear bomb, but it was one Russian and God, Krishna bless him. I can't remember his name, but for some reason he said, no, wait, wait, don't do it yet. And it was because that one guy had the cool to just hold it off that we didn't have a nuclear explosion in the sixties. True story. Look it up. Wow. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's how close we came. Yeah. Yeah. That was a close. This one. is kind of stuff I deal with. Like I said, it, what I'm go, what I take, what I'm going through, I'm seeing a lot of this stuff in other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, 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 it, everybody, you know, it's like got a little bit of demon in them, you know, even, even our own selves, we can, we can understand that uh, this, this, especially lust and, and, 
anger you know when you don't get what you want then you become angry you know and, and this is just this everybody's going through this and uh so what we need is to clean our hearts by chanting the holy names and by reading this literature and just hearing from krishna because when we do that then the whole world is purified actually even if we're just doing it ourselves okay i'm going to read 11 and 12 and then um Zoe, you question. can read the uh the first paragraph and uh then melissa you can read the second paragraph i have a really quick question about sure. the last part that we read so it kind of sounds like they're saying that if somebody is following kind of like a cafeteria picked and chosen kind of um like kind of made up religion that they're kind of just on the same level with like whoever's like not following anything yeah well it's true i mean there's two kinds of people in this world there's the demonic and there's the and those who follow god are no, known as de devotees they're actually following the the principles of religion and then there, there's the people who are just do whatever they want they can make up their own religion they can make up their own path you know people are in different modes of nature but basically if they're not following the vedic system if they're not surrendering to krishna they're demons. It, you know, there's two types of people in this world. And even if they kind of make up their own, you know, type of religion, it's not really religion. It's just their own agenda disguised as religion. So it, it really doesn't uh, make any difference. Uh, you know, it says that whatever you do, whatever occupation you have, if it doesn't lead toward hearing the pastimes of Krishna and the engagement in Krishna consciousness, if he doesn't develop attraction to Krishna, then it's completely useless. It's, uh, you know, whatever you read, whatever you look at, whatever you, uh, whatever your engagement in is, if that occupation doesn't lead to engagement in Krishna's service, then it's a useless waste of time. And it's actually demonic because it's deviating us from our real mission of life which is to surrender so um that that's true the it, you, what you're saying is correct that if you're not you know even if you make up your own religion or just do whatever you want you know you might say that you know well he's a very nice man he's very he's take care of his kids he's take care of his family he's uh, he engaged in his community services and stuff like that but it says in another place in the bhagavatam that, that because that man is engaged um in act because he's hovering on the, the mental platform he's not connected with transcendence therefore he has no good qualities it's like in the bible it says um what is that verse alan you you know the bible more than i do they're like filthy rags all of our so-called good qualities are like filthy rags because um you know what we think is good if it's not really connected with god then it, it's pretty much useless because it really doesn't have any lasting value. It's just meant for our sense enjoyment or um, what we think is good. But, uh, you know, there is a standard for, for goodness. And that means, like I said before, attraction to the message of Krishna. Anything else besides that, it just um, uh, doesn't help anyone, doesn't in pu purify our heart. And, and doesn't help anyone else either. It doesn't lead to a good destination on this planet or the next. So, um, let's see, where was I here? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to read the Sanskrit. And then, um, Zoe, you can read the first paragraph after that. Chintama parame am cha pralayam tama pasrita kamo pa boga parama etavad etinishitan asa pasha satarbada kama krota parayana ihante karma bogartam anyayanarta sanchayan synonyms chintam fears and anxieties aparame am immeasurable cha and pralaya antam unto the point of death Upashrita, having taken shelter of Kama Upaboga, sense gratification, Parama, the highest goal of life, Hetavat, thus, Iti, in this way, Nishita, having ascertained Asa Pasha, entanglements in a network of hope, Satai, by hundreds, 
Buddha being bound, comma, of lost crota and anger. Parayana, always situated in the mentality ihante, they desire, comma, lust, boga, sense of joy, and artham for the purpose of ayayena, illegally, arta of wealth, sanchayan, accumulation. Translation, they believe that to gratify the senses is the prime necessity of human civilization. Thus, until the end of life, their anxiety is immeasurable, bound by a network of hundreds of thousands of desires and absorbed in lust and anger. They secure money by illegal means for sense gratification. Go ahead, Zoe. Okay, purport. The demoniac accept that the enjoyment of the senses is the ultimate goal of life. And this concept they maintain until death. They do not believe in life after death. They do not believe that one takes on different types of bodies according to one's karma or activities in the world. Their plans for life are never finished. And they go on preparing plan after plan, all which are never finished. We have personal experience of a person of such demonic mentality uh, who, even at the point of death, was requesting that the physician to prolong his life for four years more because his plans were not yet complete. Such foolish people do not know that a physician cannot prolong life, even for a moment. When the notice is there, there is no consideration of the man's desire. The laws of nature do not allow a second beyond what one is destined to enjoy. Yeah, it's like said that they say, you want to make God laugh? laugh? Just tell him your plans. Yes. Go ahead, Melissa. Uh, the demoniac person who has no faith in God or the super soul within himself performs all kinds of sinful activities simply for sense gratification. He does not know that there is a witness sitting within his heart. The super soul is absor uh, observing the activities of the individual soul. It is, uh, as it is stated in the Upanishads, there are two birds sitting on the tree, on one tree. One is acting and enjoying or suffering the fruits of the branches, and the other is witnessing. But one who is demoniac has no knowledge of Vedic scripture, nor has any faith. Therefore, he feels free to do anything for sense enjoyment, regardless of the consequences. Yeah, that's the difference between the East and the West. In the East, the people have a real little bit of responsibility, and they believe in what they call karma. But, uh, you know, like what goes around comes around. But uh, people in the West, they have no regard for any kind of reaction. And so they just do everything with abandon, thinking that there's gonna, not going to be any result. <clears throat> in fact, in, in Arizona, because of this whole, uh, you know, Muslim phobia, Islamophobia, they wanted to ban karma. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> How can you ban karma? Good you know, luck with that. I was going to say, good luck with that. Uh, Gay thought it was some kind of like, uh, you know, Sharia God. law or something. It's nuts. Text 13 through 15. Idam adya mayam labdam imam prapsye manartaram ratam. Idam adi astidam apime bevishyanti panardanam. Asamaya hadashatru hanisye. Chaparana P. Ishro Hamaham Bogi, Sido Ham Balavan Suki, Adio Bavan Bijan Navan Asmi, Konyo Sti Sadrisho Maya, Yakshe Dasyami Modisya, Itia Janabi Modhita. Synonyms Idam, this, Adia, today, Maya, by me, Labdam gained, Idam, this, Propsi, I shall gain, Manara Tam, according to my desires. Edam this, Asti, there is, Edam this, Apid, also me, Arme, mine, Bivisyanti will increase in the future, Puna, again, Danam, wealth, Aso, that, Maya, by me, Hanta, has been killed, Shratu, enemy, Hanisye, I shall kill, Cha, also, Aparan, others, Api, certainly, Ifswara, the Lord, Aham, I am, um, I am, Bogi, the enjoyer, Siddha, perfect, Aham, I am Balavan, powerful, Shuki, happy, Adya, wealthy, Abhijanavan, surrounded by aristocratic relatives, Asmi, I am, Ka, who, Adya, others, Asti, there is, Sadrisha, like, Maya, ye, me, Yakshe, I shall sacrifice, Dasyami, I shall give charity, 
Modishi I shall rejoice, iti thus, again, by ignorance, vimohita, deluded. Translation, demonic person thinks, quote, so much wealth do I have today, and I will gain more according to my schemes. So much is mine now, and it will increase in the future more and more. He is my enemy, and I have killed him, and my other enemies will also be killed. I am the Lord of everything. I am the enjoyer. I am perfect, powerful, and happy. I am the richest man, surrounded by aristocratic relatives. There is none so powerful and happy as I am. I shall perform sacrifices. I shall give some charity, and thus I shall rejoice." End quote. In this way, such persons are deluded by ignorance. Uh, gets to no purport. All right, I'll read the next one too. Text 16. Akin aneka chitta vibranta moha jala samadrita prashakta kama bogeshu atanti narake sucho. Synonyms. Aneka numerous chitta by anxieties vibranta perplex moha of illusions jala by a network samadrita surrounded prakash. Prashakta, attached, Kama Bogeshu of two sense gratification. Patante, they glide down Narake into hell. Ashocho, unclean. Translation, thus perplexed by various anxieties and bound by a network of illusion, they become too strongly attached to sense enjoyment and fall down into hell. Go ahead, Al. The demoniac man knows no limit to his desire to acquire money. That is, that is unlimited. He thinks only of how much assessment he has just now and schemes to engage that stock of wealth further and further. For that reason, he does not hesitate to act in any sinful way and so deals in the black market for illegal gratification. He is an armed by the possessions he has already, such as land, family, house, and bank balance, and he is always planning to improve them. He plans in his own strength, and he does not know that whatever he is gaining is due to his past good deeds. He is given an opportunity to accumulate such things, but he has no conception of past causes. He simply thinks that all his massive wealth is due to his endeavor. A demoniac person believes in the strength of his personal work, not in the law of karma. According to the law of karma, a man takes his birth in a higher family or becomes rich, or very well educated or very beautiful because of good work in the past. The demoniac thinks that all these things are accidental and are due to the strength of one's personal ability. They do not sense any arrangement behind all the varieties of people, beauty, and education. Anyone who comes into competition with such a demoniac man is his enemy. They are many, there are many demoniac people and each is enemy to the other. The en enmity becomes more and more deep be between people and between families, then between families, then between societies, and that lasts between nations. Therefore, there is constant strife, war, and, and enmity, enmity all over the world. Yep. Yeah, you, you go down. Uh, okay, so, um, Zoe, do you want to read the next paragraph? Each demoniac person thinks and live at the sacrifice of all others. Generally, a demoniac person thinks of himself as the supreme God, and a demoniac creature tells his followers, Why are you seeking God elsewhere? You are all yourselves God. Whatever you like, you can do. Don't believe in God. Throw away God. God is dead. These are all the demoniac's preachings. Go ahead, Melissa. Although the demoniac person sees others equally rich and influential, or even more so, he thinks that no one is richer than he and that no one is more influential than he. As far as promotion to the higher planetary system is concerned, he does not believe in performing yagnas or sacrifices. Demons think that they will manufacture their own process of yagna and prepare some machine by which they will be able to reach any higher planet. The best example of such a demoniac man is or was Ravana. He offered a program to people by which he could prepare a staircase so that anyone could reach the heavenly planets without performing sacrifices such uh, as are prescribed in the Vedas. Similarly, in the present age, such demoniac men are striving to reach 
the higher planetary systems by mechanical arrangements. These are examples of bewilderment. The result is that without their knowledge, they are gliding toward hell. Here, the Sanskrit word moha yala is very significant. Uh, yala means net, like fish caught in a net. They have no way to come out. Yeah, it just reminds me of like, you know, I was just talking about before is how, how everybody thinks that they, they don't have any kind of realization of past like karma. They don't understand how they became rich or how they became beautiful. They just think it's all their own doing or they're part of a, some kind of aristocratic family. And uh, they think they're the richest person, even if they're not, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't get involved with politics, but you know, it's like, for example, when the when the World Trade Center was knocked down, Trump was bragging right after the day after he was saying, "Now my building is the biggest building in Manhattan." Wow. <laughs> I mean, how demonic is that kind of mentality? And uh, you know, my my uncle he went to MIT, so I must be very smart too. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he actually was bragging to Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes. He said, you know, she said, you know, you know, you're not very, you know, known as a very humble man. And he said, you know, I, I'm actually more humble than you could possibly understand. So he was bragging how humble you are. <laughs> he has no self-realization and yeah. actually no, no self-reflection to understand the complete uh, delusion that he's in. Okay, so this one here is like uh, the next one here. How long do we have here? Running out of time. Okay, we have 10 minutes. So we can maybe get on through this. Atma sambhavita stabda dana mana mananvita madanvita yajante nama yajnaste dambeve vidi purvakam synonyms. Atma sambhavita Bavita, self complacent, stamda, stabda, impudent, dana mana, the wealth of, of wealth and false prestige, mata, in de, the delusion, anvita, absorbed, yajante, they perform sacrifice, dama, in name only, yagnai, with sacrifices, te, they, dambena, out of pride, abidi purvakam, without following any rules and regulations. Translations, self complacent and always impudent, deluded by wealth and false prestige, they sometimes proudly perform sacrifices in name only without following any rules or regulations. Go ahead, Mike or Alan. Uh, you got to put on your. Yeah, mic. well, I, I, I was, my screen went on me. I got it now. Self. Okay, yeah, we under there, right? Self calm. Okay, thanking themselves no, no, yeah, all. We're, yeah, we're we're on the pure part now. All right, thanking themselves all in all, not caring for any authority or scripture, the demoniac sometimes performs so-called religious or sacrificial rites, and since they do not believe in authority, they are very impudent. This is due to illusion caused by accumulating some wealth and false ego. Sometimes such demonic demons take up the role of preacher, misled the people, and become known as religious reformers or as re incarnations of God. Oh, okay. They make a show of performing sacrifices or they worship the demigods or manufacture their own God. Common men adv advertise them as God and worship them. And by the foolish, they are considered advanced in the principles of religion or in the principles of spiritual knowledge. They take the dress of the renounced order of life and engage in all nonsense in that dress. Actually, there are so many restrictions for one who has renounced this world. The demons, however, do not care for such restrictions. They think that whatever path one can create is one's own path. There is no such thing as a standard path one has to follow. The word... Oh, meaning of this regard for the rules and regulations is especially stressed here. These things are also due to ignorance and illusion. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, it, it, you know, like a lot of um, a lot of people even think. I hate to say it again. I don't like to even mention his name, but they have a billboard in Missouri that has Donald Trump as like the second coming of Christ. Well, no. it's, you know, and, and without using that example, I mean, basically, that's the foundation of cults. You know, you're making up the, your own false thing and you're declaring yourself like a supreme. That's the basis of a cult. Yeah, yeah I, I don't hate that. I mean, like I said, I don't hate the man or anything. It's just I just think the whole the whole political thing has just gotten control on both ends. So that's just how I feel towards how what this is saying. It's not just one thing. It's just the whole world is going into a cult. It's yeah, true. well, the cult, the actually name, the, the, the name cult is not really a bad word, actually. Uh, cult, the, the etymological root meaning of cult is culture. So, but a cult of personality, that's a different thing. If you're like, a, uh, you know, like a, a charismatic leader, um, that's the modern definition of a cult. It's somebody that doesn't really follow the principles of religion and makes himself out to be uh, a religious person and uh like jim jones or somebody like that you know uh that's that's the modern definition of a, a demonic cult and uh so i think that when you use i've always said this when you use the words of god and and uh, the scriptures and all the tropes of religion to promote your own demoniac or especially divisious, divisive or hateful agenda, political agenda for your own profit and prestige, there is a special place in hell waiting for you because I think that that's one of the most egregious things you could possibly do to in the name of God, engage in all that nonsense just for your own personal agenda. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion, but uh, Let's see if we can read a couple more. We got a little less than five minutes left. Synonyms. Ahankaram, false ego, balam, strength, <clears throat> darpan, pride, kamam, lust, krodam, anger, cha, also, samshrita, having taken shelter of mum, me, Atma in their own, para and in others, deheshu bodies, pravishanta blaspheming, abhyashyaka envious translation, bewildered by false pride, pride, strength, false ego, strength, pride, anger, or lust and anger, the demons become envious of the supreme personality of Godhead, who is situated in their own bodies, and in the bodies of others and blaspheme against the real religion. Melissa, you want to read? I guess they were next. A demoniac person being always against God's supremacy does not like to believe in the scriptures. He is envious of both the scriptures and the existence of the supreme personality of Godhead. This is caused by his so-called prestige and his accumulation of wealth and strength. He does not know that the present life is a preparation for the next life. Not knowing this, he is actually envious of his own self as well as of others. He commits violence on other bodies and on his own. He does not care for the supreme control of the personality of Godhead because he has no knowledge. Being envious of the scriptures and of the supreme personality of Godhead, he puts forward false arguments against the existence of God and denies this uh, scriptural authority. He thinks himself independent and powerful in every action. He thinks that since no one can equal him in strength, power, or wealth, he can act in any way and no one can stop him. If he has an enemy who might check the advancement of his sensual activities, he makes plans to cut him down by his own power. It kind of reminds me of Rani Kashipu. Even his own five-year-old boy, Prahlad Maharaj, he was, you know, he was a devotee. And, you know, he asked him after school one day, he said, what is the best thing you learned? I said, he said, uh, a hearing, chanting, remembering, praying, worshiping, you know, the nine processes of devotional service. And he just got really mad. And he said, where is your God? You know, there's no one is as powerful as me, you know. 
And so he got really angry and he actually tried to kill his son in so many different ways. So they're, they're envious of their own selves, actually not and their own family members. It doesn't even matter if they're family, they'll be envious in that way, even of their own family or even of themselves and they'll harm themselves. And uh, basically because they're envious, envy is the root of all of uh, our rebellious mentality, whatever we do uh, that is against God, like putting forward different arguments against the existence of God, of being an atheist, being a Mayavadi, or being a scientist who puts forward uh, alternate theories, you know, like the theory of evolution or different things like that. That is all Mayavad philosophy as well, because it's just a false argument because they try to be God themselves. They want to say, okay, we'll help you live forever. We'll make you eternal. Uh, and we'll just do all the things that God is just to worship us and, and we'll fix everything. We'll make you for, live forever. We'll put a chip in your head and, and then you'll live forever. But that's just a, you know, a post-dated check. They can't really do any of those things because this is a material world and everyone has to die. So, you know, death comes to these envious people and these demonic people. That is their God. They come, God comes to them in the form of death. So we only have a minute left here. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, no, thanks. Take have a good trip uh, to New York. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm going to take some. I'm going to do a, um, a kind of a, uh, a video. You will see what, what their prashadam distribution is like. You know that down there in Lower Manhattan, they've been feeding like 600 people a week for the last 20 years. Wow. Yeah, it's so gonna it's be awesome. awesome what they're doing yeah it'll be something to look forward to yeah they've been doing it through the pandemic and 